Okay, hello everyone. Let's get this recording started. I'm first gonna get some Mega Man music to uh, set the mood. I'm gonna go with something that is near and dear to my heart from a Legend series. And I'm gonna have it on repeat during this entire recording. But let's get started. If Shadow Rock's not going to make the right decision, I have to. If he's not going to address the situation, I have no choice but to. Let's get started. Now, a little feedback in my Mega Man history. I've been playing Mega Man since I was 9 years old. Since 1994. I knew about it before then. Around the age of 7. My cousins up north were playing it. I didn't know what it was at the time, but I saw this blue little character running across the screen shooting robots. Or, at least that's what I thought at the time. And that's what they were. I eventually got to play Mega Man 2, and it's not my favorite. My favorite is 7. I love 7, despite the American mess up in translation. I have played Mega Man my entire life. I love playing the game. I love experiencing saving the day as Mega Man. With that out of the way, let's get on to this. I know people want me to talk about Revo Rapper while well, it's serious allegations, but I'd rather not. At this time, I would rather wait on Twitch to official statement. This is means Revo Reploid, aka Twitch. Uh, this is his other alias he goes by. For all information to become available, developing situation, all I can say in the form you and my base opinion, the evidence is actually presented. So, instead of my own personal experiences to share, and ultimately am truly to the reason why I dissociated him, however, I will ask you to do not to send hate towards Twitch or his ex bonus level. It's his ex partner bonus level. Who mentioned later over er, what I'm about to say, I will not condone it. Nobody should condone what Rebo Rep Void slash Twitch has done and he needs medical help. He needs to be evaluated in a medical facility so he can get the proper medications to help him with his disorders. Let's continue. I am painfully aware that Twitch's disrespect towards others online for years and have always been disappointed by it. The point where the moment that he started interacting in 2019 and essentially told him in the DMs directly. How certain things he said Ed, or done is not cool. No, it is not. It is not. I would disassociate him and tell him in the DMs directly I do how certain things I he said are or done is not cool. I already just said that. I just repeated that. Now future me edit that in the future and also Zell do something about that. Looking back, I sh and I have not sugarcoated him as much as I did. But for example, presented in the hyperlink above during the time when he gave him the benefit of the doubt. For the sake of playing nice to the fellow content creator for, or wondering of my old statement was needed to refer him into an infamous line of Twitch. The core issue is observed with anger management issues and an ego. He runs his mouth way too much, gets angry at people, and dares to challenge authority. That's what leads him to a constant finding himself in the center of significant drama once. Maybe twice a year, as you may have noticed. He has even heard, heard from his own fans how they are afraid to disagree with him over being Mighty Number no. 9, QJ Inafune, Trivia, and lore. And this, and well, you can't blame him 
after watching Twitch calling people idiots on Twitter for disagreeing. He's definitely got a rage disorder. He's also probably got some mental brain damage. He probably deals with depression and anxiety, much like I do. And he needs medical help. He needs medication. He probably has a sleeping disorder as well as he probably doesn't sleep as well. I will have to say KG Inufune has done great work. But he's not completely without fault. Capcom is a business, and it should be looked at as such. It creates games for the fans and masses. And right now what we need to do, yes, I agree, we need to be patient, and we need to wait at least 10 months, maybe 14, as of now, to wait for Capcom to give an affirmative answer what they want to do with the Mega Man franchise. A reveal rep boy got impatient, he got reckless, he got angry, and he, yet again, needs medical help. These guys that would be unforgivable has happened in a couple of times, and he took as a learning lesson to better himself. But the problem never did get it better. He kept the same energy for years. Twitch is Given myself and others the same speech on repeat as anger as 1% of his personality. If you actually got to know him, um, he would just misunderstand. This is a lack of teaching knowledge. People have not properly taught him how to be a reactive to other people. He has probably had a sheltered life like me, but at least I've been around people. And when I do get upset, it's only because I'm very passionate and I want to do something right. I want to try to fix things, even when others don't. That's what makes a good person. This is a factual and true saying that the infamous reputation among several users online, throwing their tantrum tantrums on streams and in a entering into a rage of people are publicly and privately and generally not saying things. That's what makes everyone intimately look bad and just n or not. And just or not, he should have really pronounced that better. He should have put immediately looks bad no matter what the situation. It would sound a lot more intelligent and a lot more to the point. Not only the mention, someone who claims to take responsibility often to see him spend more time blaming directors and his ex for other side factors spends taking a full accountability for himself. And the only one is to be is and the only I'm not the only one that has noticed. If he's harming that young lady in any way, shape, or form, it should never be accepted. Women should never be harmed or attacked, and women shouldn't harm or attack men under any circumstance. I may have a giant sword, I may have a seed standard pistol on my side, but it's only meant to get the job done and to protect lives. And I consider myself a mercenary VTuber with Seed SG Operation. What Revo Reploid has done, there's nothing noble or good or just. Right now, somebody needs to get a hold of the local authorities and have him evaluated to a mental institute to have his mental well-being checked out and evaluated. That's not the only part why I dissociate from him. The truth is I'm kind of a victim as well, not only in the way of currently discussed online, but I have received an end of cruelty and manipulation coming from him. Shadow Rock, I'm sorry Rebo has done this, but I shouldn't apologize for him. But I will apologize for my actions for jumping a gun, and you really need to make this 
public knowledge. This video will stay up until you do something. If you're not going to do something, I will. There has to be a voice of reason and understanding. I'm not part of the Mega Man community. But I am a Mega Man gamer. I am mentally disabled. And Revo Reploy needs professional help. As early as 2020, there was once an anti Shadow Rock Twitter account known as Save You a Click Shadow Rock ZX. I don't think this exists anymore. This account has defamed me over time, pairing good folks over the Rockman corner. Then later, documented and posted an attention teaching a lesson over the channel that I had my own Discord at one time, the Hall of Dumb, where he would post screenshots of dumb comments and he would receive online. This is like people are not watching the videos all the way through. His document did miss the context of the history of certain users mentioned, but on me because I provided literally zero context on the public domain. Perhaps my biggest mistake was didn't censor the names. I quickly realized an error automatically and had my channel taken down. From the bottom of my heart, I am sorry for the Hall of Dumb channel and anyone that is affected by it. I will never do something like that again. One, no one should be called dumb. It's, no one should be called stupid. Nobody should be e attacked, made fun of, or even blamed like this. Nobody should be attacked like this. Everyone deserves to express themselves in a positive light I think Revo Reploid has a hard time trying to express himself in a positive light. And this is probably lack the view of a positive childhood or a positive atmosphere as a child. Anyway, generally E to the Mega Man Oh wait a minute, jumped ahead. I only wish for whoever tried to cancel me over on the Hall of Dumb would try to contact me first. I'm not an approachable person if I had someone genuine concern like that. I invite them to tell me I pride myself on my open mind. It sucks that I had to hear about this concern for the first time and getting blasted online. You shouldn't have been blasted, Shadow Rock, none of your community or the Mega Man community. Anyways, generally the Mega Man community has decorated the existence of the account and debacle and came close after I DM the account and get the ins got the answers. He should have said got the answers. To get the answers is good. But he should have said I DM'd um, the account to get the answers. And wait a minute, that's what he did. Ah, my literacy sometimes. It's due to my mental disabilities. Which extended the account attempting to blackmail me. I demanded a public apology and an account that says what's up and that's what didn't get. That's when they didn't get that. They accounted and ceased operation. The video archives account. You can go to this video archive right here to find out what the heck is going on. Go to, sh oh, to my YouTube page. Shadow Rock has sent me the information. For years, I had no idea the culprit that I have been, and mostly pushed or deal out of my mind when I received an anonymous DM September uh, 2022. Dude, I will admit my life an upside down in September 22, September of 2022. Matter of fact, it's been upside down for over seven years after my mother's passed. Now, oh, I'm going to censor the name of the account because they apologized to me and everything to forgive them. I don't want the flack being sent their way. Anyways, I had no proof of Revo Ripoid of what he did had to do with any of this, but I had genuine faith he wouldn't do anything stupid. So I wrote off somebody trying to fake drama and ignored it. 
Then my apology, in 2023, I had a chance to confront Twitch and I came down to apologize to me differing falling out between myself and Twitch. The artist formerly known as Bonus Level, Twitch ex-spouse, I mean ex-dating partner since they were, her paperwork was never finalized. And in 2021, that's where my fear was confirmed. Twitch allegedly a bonus medal I had orchestrating the Save the Click Shadow Rock account has been in behind the scenes. A revelation that it didn't did it hurt me. It did hurt me a lot. Not only a different and constant creator is someone that has better known assisting the on for a fellow creator. I have combined collabed with Rebo Reploid. Rebo Reploid despite all of his problems has been a generally a good content creator but a good content creator doesn't make a good person on the Mega Man awkward show in the same year of 2020 none of the wiser he's scheming and once he ensured three years of the word until he showed up the allegation myself one of the worst betrayals I have personally experienced Due to Twitch's credit, I apologize and I claim bonus level did uh, most of the steaming. He simply knew the existence of the count and he, he's sorry, but he didn't put a stop to it. Although I wish I should uh, have cut ties with him right then and there, as I'm naively kind. Taking the Twitch words last face and value was mostly bonus levels doing anyway. I have no reason to accept an apology with the hope he can start over. He doesn't need to start over. What he needs is medical help. Yet again. Both him and bonus level it seems. They need to be medically evaluated. I did tell him however that's what uh, I would not be doing with my video collabs until I give myself the time to digest the information. The full video in context. Revo's confession. It seems this was on Discord. Yet again, you can go to my YouTube channel and see where I reposted this. I mean, not YouTube, but Twitter slash X account. At the part of this going on in detail in his divorce, nobody in the business thought their own and left out. And the digest through 2023 during the same time I... Reminded back in 2020, a friend pointed out he's a wrong style of save and click and SR document was surprisingly the evidence back from then. The most I remembered, the most of Twitch's testimony, I do not sit right with me. It does not sit right with me. It it was an odd that. Uh, it was odd that and he almost put an entire blame squarely on bonus level and didn't confess doing anything knowing about the account. The lack of accountability and apparent in January of 2024, I finally decided to closure on these doubts. In discussions with my crew, I brought up that save a S click SR account was live and they definitely he had my channel as a wonderful friend. Sapphire Stars 11 Sapphire has found out the truth about the account for the first time in discussions and an original account creator. I would have to do it. At the same time I told Twitch I wish I dissociated due to my lingering feelings on betrayal and the fact that he's getting into ugly fights on Twitter slash X knowing he hasn't changed. There's another video log right here. When I was just contacted by the original creator at the first time, I apologize very well through generally proper responsibility and actions. So again, I had no choice. I hold no ill wills towards them. At the same time, they got plenty of play-by-play -play and ordeal. This is where my doubts got confirmed. Twitch did not simply sit idly by and had implied that he is spying on for his fellow conspirators. Gathering data on the Hall of Dumb and assisting the document, in fact, Twitch was involved 
and all it was bad enough. But this is where withholding the information about the level was involvement. It was for me was from me was so that I would easily forgive him. Disgusting. It is disgusting. But yet again, they need help. That brings us to today. The current situation why I did say something and the drama was never fun. Due to the duty and the crew of myself getting involved, the negativity started a fandom unnecessarily. So I guess I had naive hope that he would learn and change for the better. I remain unconvinced he has. You should never give up on hope. Shadow Rock, you should never give up on hope on humanity, let alone a single person. He can change. He just needs the medical professionals to help him with the change. He's incapable of doing it himself. So I lend my voice in support to everyone that has been through rough, negative experiences with Twitch or, you, or valid phones the way you do. I suggest, however, that he keeps the facts that at uh, down and I believe necessary to make up things about him. There's already enough uh, real skeletons in his closets that are worth discussing. I have been a guest on Reba Reploid's channel towards the show. I'm going to keep it that away. I will see the, you will see me in things like Coleman X Mega March and I'll consider collabing with Cole. But the amazing friend of mine deserves no hate. I'm not with Twitch. That's after the current situation of Revo Reploid ends. Regardless the outcome, I'm moving forward. Please leave my associates and myself out of this thing with Revo Reploid. Or Reploid Revo. Again, this is not an invitation to a harass Twitch or bonus level. On my behalf, I will not condone it. All I ask you is listen to people's concerns from your own options. That's what, uh, that's about, uh, it. Thanks for reading. Everything I've seen here is, yes, Revo Reploid has a hard time accepting his own failures. He has a hard time understanding what he has done. And it's due to a, a negligent, negligent upbringing. A possibly a hazardous living environment with his family or maybe lack thereof he's also mentally disabled and he needs medical evaluation he needs medical attention if there's any authorities that is watching this video as of now that know where Revo is at he needs to be medically evaluated and helped. This is not a time to attack him. This is not a time to hurt him. This is a time to get him medically evaluated. To find out how medically, through medical medicines, or procedures, or even that of psychiatry, that he can be helped. This is the only way that Revo Reploid will be able to change and be somewhat a decent person. I don't expect him to be an entire decent person after this. He's not going to be. But he needs to realize that there's actions and repercussions for this. What actions he's done, there's repercussions. And it's going to cause him getting in serious trouble or worse. Him getting a game over, or there's always a fate worse than a game over. He's called a vegetated coma. Y'all have seen on my channel before how oh, an entire school staff wanted to hurt me so bad that I either got game ended or even a vegetated coma state. And they were going to use the children in the school to do it. Because they didn't want to uh, understand me. They didn't want to help me. They wanted me gone. <sighs> Reba Reploy. Shadow Rock. Sapphire Sonya. Level Plus. Everyone involved in this situation 
if anybody can get a hold of medical evaluation services for Revo Repoid, please do so effective immediately. He needs medical help. It's the only way he's going to get better and somewhat heal. He won't be able to heal entirely. But he'll be able to realize what he's done with his mistakes. I love playing Mega Man. My earliest game was 2, but it's not my favorite in the classic franchise. My first X game was X2. It's not my favorite. My favorite is X4, and I love X6 for the challenge. When it comes to the ZX series, I'm not a big fan of. Plus, Axel never did anything wrong. Axel is a good character. He's young, he's immature, and he's irrational. In other words, he's a young-blooded hotshot. The ZX series I really didn't care for, and the Mega Man Zero series falls under the same flag. The Mega Man Legends series I love. I love the open world sort of experience. And I wish I could play it again. But I can't. As I can't get a working emulator right now for it. I've also played the, uh, well, Mega Man Powered Up on an emulator. It's fun. I still need to get the Mega Man X emulator. Oh, the Mega Man X version of it, anyways, powered up. I've also played X Dive Online. I don't care for offline. I really would have loved to see Spider in it. Spider was one of my favorite characters in Command Mission. I would love to see a Command Mission too. Or maybe a 3. It's a good game. It really is. I love Command Mission for the RPG aspect. The weapons, capabilities, the characters. It dared to be different and change the formula. There's nothing wrong with it. I have only played one of the Game Boy games and it was Dr. Wily's Revenge on the original Game Boy. And it was through D. 3DS, the original 3DS through download. I've also played base, Mega Man and base. It's a lot of fun, but it's very difficult, but it's not impossible. A 7 is frustrating, there's a lot of glitches, and it's very messed up, but it's a good game. As this video has gone on long enough, it's gonna take a while to upload. But, I hope y'all can understand my thoughts now on this and how I feel about oh, this whole situation that I threw myself into without the proper information. But now y'all have the proper information of what's happened. And right now, what he needs for the last time is medical professional help. He won't get better on his own. He needs to be evaluated. And see if there's anything mentally disabled with him. So the doctors can help him. Thank you so much for joining me with this proper video. I want to thank Shadow Rock for sending me this information. And YouTube is also listening. And I hope they are. And I really do hope they are. I highly suggest temporarily suspending Revo Reploid's channel. Until he can get medical professional help. And finally, on behalf of Plus Level, Darlin, I'm sorry what you've been through. I'm sorry what Sapphire has been through. I'm sorry what Shadow Rock has been through in the entire Mega Man community. But now we know what has happened, and this video won't go down until one of the two address the situation. 
Do not attack them. Do not attack me. Do not attack anyone in the Mega Man community. And no longer attack my streams. I now know what's going on, and this is what I needed. This is what I needed to know. And now all of you now know. Thank you so much for joining me for uh, this long-winded video. Please understand. I will continue streaming later on this morning. It's already 5 o'clock in the morning. And I still gotta go to my Yu-Gi-Oh! locals later. And I gotta take a bath. I gotta eat breakfast. <laughs> I gotta eat lunch. I gotta live my life. I highly suggest that y'all learn how to live your lives too. And don't be in a controlled environment past the age of 21. Try to make it out on your own and be your own person. If you can. Thank you so much. Goodbye. For now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, VTubers and VTuberettes. Of all shapes, sizes, and augmentations, I have been Commander Devon Miner. Farewell. <laughs>